Yo, BJ Gador with The Daily BJ. This is the at-home agility ladder workout, whole body fat burning workout. Subscribe to my channel. The workout description is in the video description. I'm using something called Penalty Box Fit, which is basically a small ladder for small spaces, whether it's at the gym or at home, traveling, very easy to take with. You can also use a regular agility ladder at the gym and just go a couple steps uh, using it. Actually, it's interesting. It's more challenging, I think, to have to do only a couple steps and have to come back versus going all the way down the ladder. You kind of get the rhythm if it's going all the way through in succession, having to stop and change direction more often. More of an agility emphasis, frankly, more metabolic and uh, a fun way to do it in small spaces. So here we go. We're gonna go with the built-in warm up as always. Uh, first move is a lateral five step. So I'm gonna kind of break it down for you. We're gonna go across here like we would laterally on a ladder. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. 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 So the key is we can speed it up, but slow it down enough. Make sure we're not playing the drums. We're gonna get that good pattern. Slight leg lift, and it picks up, and we keep going that way. You slow it down, you can speed it up. Great way to kind of start get the rhythm going. From there, bear push-up complex. There's three variations, easy, medium, hard. Either just do easy, or just do easy, medium and then progress to easy, medium, hard, and you cycle through that for time. So we start in our bear position. Let's get on this side so you can see it better. Locked in. From there, one, two, one, two. That's easy. Out, step back, and then plyo, plyo. So easy, medium, advanced, okay? So I keep cycling level one, level two, level three, or just level one, level two, or just level one based on where you're at. Great way to just smoke it out and it's a closer grip than normal. So really challenge the shoulders and the triceps on that push-up position. Skater jump and stick. So as I like about this little situation, you don't need it. You can just jump over a regular ladder, but this kind of gives you something to work with. And all I'm gonna do is emphasize a good jump and then a stick on the land. You really own it with bends and ankles, knees and hips. So start there, swipe the arms across the body, stick and land. Push, stick and land. Push, stick and land. Push. All right, great for the lateral hips, glutes, great for hiking up the heart rate. And again, easier on the knees by going more frontal plane side to side than jumping forward and back. So I love that option. From there, we got one leg hops, you're gonna go Forwards, left and then right, and then side to side, left and right. Big focus here, think about a hollow body position. Rib shoulders down, abs crunch, glute tight. You're gonna squeeze the thigh and the glute on that leg, stabilize it, and then from there, I'm locked in, just getting over the line, quick, on the balls of the feet, have the arms swing with you, forward as well, get that momentum going, equal time on each side. Side to side option, Get on there and again, plank yourself down and then get nice and quick, tight over that line. Balls of the feet, so good for cardio, calves, entire lower leg development, also strengthening and stabilizing ankle, knee, and hip. All right, staggered plyo push-up switches. You're gonna cut the plyo if it's too hard, but what we do here is we use the box and we get into this staggered position, all right? So I could do either half my reps this way and then switch sides halfway into the work set or show the plyo option, which I'm gonna show here. Even in the plyo option, we do a normal rep first. So I'm staggered, I do a push, and then switch. Feet kind of come with me a little bit. Okay, and again, you can just do normal push-ups with that high-low stagger and then switch the stagger halfway into the set and try to match the reps on each side even though it's tough. From there we got salsa crossovers. This is my wife's specialty right here. She's what they call barricua. Okay, I'm gonna get locked in here. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them I'm doing it wrong. So you can start with a little less of a hip swivel and build up to it, take some practice. But we're rotating the hips while keeping the shoulders squarely ahead. So we get good hip rotation mechanics, great quick feet mechanics, cardio, and then the next time you see a Latina you wanna do something special with, take her to the agility ladder, because you don't wanna try to salsa dance, trust. All right, from there, final two moves. It's really hard to now crossover plyo push-up. 
So either again, just do a uh, push-ups here and then just, actually I can show the walk-off version over here, a little easier. So you do your push-up, middle, reset, push-up, middle, reset. So again, if your hands are big, it's kind of harder in there, but you can make it work. Push up, push up, and then keep moving in that pattern. Here's the more advanced version. Again, we'll, we'll do normal push before we add the switch. So I'm here, push, and then push, push, push. And uh, that is what they call a face melter. Final movement, get over here. Let's just melt the face in small space. So you do normal split squat and then to a lateral split jump complex. So I'm here, lower in control, stay tall up top, split squat, lateral split jump. 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 Keep repeating that pattern. The quads will quake. You'll poop the pants, maybe a little bit of urine, but you know what, you'll be done. You can do this anywhere. The classic home workout. They're calling me the goat of home workouts now. I think I like that.